Boston Marathon race director finished the run that changed his life and charity running nationwide. Dave McGillivray ran from Medford, Oregon to Medford, Massachusetts to raise money for the Jimmy Fund. And then kept running right into Fenway Park, where today he celebrated that milestone with a new effort to give back. Here's WBZ's Lisa Hughes. This was the victory lap before the game. The anniversary of Dave McGilvery's 1978 run across America and what Runner's World called the first cancer fundraising run ever. A standing ovation and the roar of the fans greeted 24-year-old David McGilvery, a marathon runner. It was a defining moment in my life right here at the park that, okay, this happened. Now I have a mission in my life to continue to do these types of things and to give back. Running an average of 45 miles a day, he ran from Medford, Oregon to his hometown of Medford, Mass, where his support trailer died, and where a crush of fans and that year's Boston Marathon champ Bill Rogers were waiting. From there, he ran to Fenway, celebrating a feat some said was impossible. I knew in my own heart that I had trained really hard and I earned the right to do it, and I was going to do it, and I had to get to Fenway to prove it. Was that the ultimate goal? Like there was no better place to No enter. better place. Because my goal was always to play second base for the Boston Red Sox. Well, if I can't play on the field, I'm going to run on the field. Fans loved it, but his boss at a benefit consulting firm was less impressed, firing McGilvery for not returning to work the next day. So you were fired after running across was, the country for the Jimmy Fund? I was fired. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. Then I thought, I gotta make something out of this. Since then, he's run and organized more than 500 events, including the first ever marathon in Fenway Park. Events that have raised millions for charity. Just makes me feel proud that I was able to do that and that more than anything, I'm still doing it. McGilvery celebrated his 64th birthday yesterday. And with this anniversary run, he's setting a new goal to raise $100,000 for the Jimmy Fund in a month, roughly what he raised running across the country in 78. Set goals, not limits. And that fundraiser isn't McGilvery's only goal for the next month. He helped create the Jimmy Fund walk 30 years ago, but he's never actually walked it. Next month, he will walk the course with his wife and kids. Oh, and by the way, that Fenway Marathon is tomorrow. Lisa Hughes, WBZ News.